uh, the people of Surrey and the fact that they love their city, they take pride in their city, and, they, and the positive messaging resonated with them. It was a different kind of campaign and it was being said the polls, it's going to be a tight race, but you have won by a, a wonderful margin. Again, what the kind of ups and downs which you went through this campaign, what do you, what do you have to say about that? There, there are lots of ups and downs and that's certainly been the case in all the campaigns I've been in. But today was particularly joyous to me because every single one of my team got across and three new players all hard working, been out on the streets talking to everybody in the city and I'm just thrilled that they're going to join me at the council table. The mandate which you have got is really great. Now along with that the expectations of the people and the promises which you have done. So what are you going to be priorities right now? What are you going to start working upon? Well one of the things I made very certain of during the campaign, I did not make a promise I did not, ex I could not keep. I didn't promise things that were pie in the sky and could never happen. I made sure that they were grounded, they were real, and that they had some depth to them. So when I said light rail was going to be in the city by 2018, I'm telling you right now, by, it will, I will absolutely be committed to making that happen. Uh, I've already had a discussion with the city manager, and we're going to start planning that from the moment I get... Um, inaugurated on December 8, I think mm -hmm. it is. And then public safety, we will have a general manager of public safety in place mm -hmm. and we will make sure we've, we've commissioned those 147 officers that we said we were going to bring mm -hmm. and start that neighborhood policing model absolutely right away. And I'm also committed to uh, setting up meetings with our various MLAs and MPs to discuss how we can advocate for some other issues that I talked about in terms of mental health. And finally, what is your message to your opponents who were in this race? You know, it was a tough fought election, lots of good ideas coming forward. And uh, I think that anybody who puts their name forward has got a, a, a big commitment from time away from family. So I'm just thrilled to move one tonight.